Your eyes kill me, they're so cute. We are in Soho at this awesome spot called Chushu. The food is so good here, I highly recommend it. I just got home and I wanted to share with you some goodies that I got from Autumn PR. This is all gifted just to be transparent with you guys, but it's some of their clients that they carry that um, they're letting me try out, which I'm really excited about. So here's Lash Food Wonder Lash Duo. We have several IGK products since it's one of their clients. I'm excited to try these leave-in blonde toning drops. This is always great to have in my shower when I'm feeling like my hair needs a little refresh. IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. We have Prince over there eating the blanket. Um, I've actually been using this for months now. I've worked with Alpha H and I got addicted to their liquid gold um, glyc with glycolic acid. Dr. Jart Monastery Aloha Hyaluronic Moisture Boost. Ooh, this sounds really good. This is another Monastery product, Rose Glycolic Gel. This looked so cool when I was looking through the bag and I'm really excited to try this one. Boreans Glow Cream, really good under foundation or on its own. It makes your skin so glowy and pretty. Featherweight Emulsion Sheer and Strong Protection. This looks like a moisturizer of some sort. Herbivore Bamboo Charcoal Detoxifying Soap Bar. Love this for the apartment. <laughs> I love this brand, I've used it before. Great skincare line from Hungry, all natural products or ingredients. This is the Cashmere Cleanser. Full focus. And then last but not least, ooh, I love this brand, Smith & Cult. Love this nude shade. This is the color, what is it? We are off. Are you cold? Are you shaking? This is his new sweater. How chic. Hey, friends. <laughs> so we are off to a couple meetings this morning. This has been wanting to eat my omelet because this one is stuck on his dry food at home and he hates it. But the vet said it's the best thing for you, buddy. I know. So I got an omelet with lattes and Benny did as well. <laughs> we just got home and I am chilling right now for a second. I had you guys send me questions on IG stories and I got this question a lot and I tend to sometimes see it in my DMs. So, and it's, I'm only addressing this because it's actually really important to me and I think it's really important to talk about. Um, so I wanted to address it on here as well for my YouTube audience. Um, and it's about how do I balance my lifestyle and also budgeting? So I think this is a great question and it's very important to me personally because I know my industry and just being on social media in general, there's so much competition and you compare yourself to other people and you think there's this idea of what you need to be like to be considered cool. And especially when it comes to your fashion and the way you should look in your style, I feel like there's this pressure to have the latest pieces and the coolest designer items so that you're seen as this cool person. And I think that's all just such BS. That's not the case. I actually personally value when people have, when people are smart about their finances and when they save their money and invest their money into companies and businesses and just things they really care about and see future growth in. So I guess an easy way to explain kind of how I budget my own finances is about 90% of my income, my monthly income will be saved. And then the other 10% goes to bills, rent, um, business expenses that are just necessary, and then groceries and things like that. You can work with companies and borrow designer pieces shoot in them and it's a great way for you to not waste your money on something you're not going to wear too many times or post in it too many times so you kind of just borrow designer things and then take photos and give it back i think that's a great financial thing to do because you're not spending your money on trendy items that aren't necessary and it's just silly i also think if you do love expensive things that's totally fine there is a way to make it financially smart and one way i do that is either buying vintage designer items which is also cool because not everyone's going to be wearing it um, 
Also consignment. There is nothing wrong with buying something that's been gently used and you paying a fraction of the cost of how much a designer item normally would be on, on be sold for. That's kind of how I do my financial strategy month to month and I want to make sure I share that with my audience as well and let you know I want you all to be financially smart and save your money. So I could do a whole video on this if you guys are interested but I just wanted to share my little thoughts on it and let you know that it's very smart and cool to save your money as well. Yeah, Our newest we Nordstrom employee, yes, say started. hi to the Mr. New York, Prince. New York City flagship. He's a top seller. Prince. Prince. The Prince Mini. <laughs> the latest. It's buy one, get one free. Guys, this is the new Nordstrom flagship in New York. It's right next to the um, Nordstrom Men's store. And they're also building like apartments right above the store, which are pretty insane. That's so you. If you ever are in Nordstrom, say hi to Christian. Christian, this is what Christian looks like. Yeah. He is my uh, awesome, awesome friend here at Bluestone Lane. You know I love this place. I got the eggs Benedict. Oh, I felt focused. And then Madison got avocado toast. Say hi, babe. Another day of having my hair up in a bun because I don't want to do my hair. Guess what's not on my shoulder today? Prince. I am actually off to a press preview. I just said hi to Lyle because I'm really close to his job. So I stopped by and said hi. I'm here at Network PR and love Kushni's latest line. I love the kind of silks thrown into each piece, a classic high-waisted white pant, obviously the little strap detail, and then we have a little more earth tones, some mints and blues, really pretty. And I'll show you some of my other favorites. These earrings I was eyeing. Also, this view is quite epic. I love these. You guys know Lyle and I are going on a little birthday trip in December and this is epic for a really like luxe beach look love the triangle top this is the bottom and it's kind of like a skirt with embroidery on top and this is also really cute it's this white maxi dress that has the undergarments underneath and it comes with this triangle top and then this is the belt and they have some evening wear pieces that they're focusing on as well and I love this one. It's a sequence black gown. Very low cut, kind of see-through throughout. But the most amazing part, I think, is the leg slit. Alexander Berman. Lace up bow detail. And that kind of similar bow vibe right here. I am loving all of the fall vibes in New York. Quick stop at my favorite place in the world, AKA Trader Joe's. I'm here every week feeding my soul with all of my favorite things. Good morning, angels. So I quickly wanted to share something with you that I have been loving, and this is in my self-tanning regime. And since I am so pale lately, and fall, or actually winter, just hit out of nowhere in New York, I brought back my Bali Body self facial self tanner water. I just cleanse my skin, I wash my face, so right after I do that, I put on a cotton ball and put it all over my face, and I bring it down on my neck as well, and it's so gentle and not too strong that like even when you bring it down here, it doesn't create like a line of where you end it. I wanted to give you an update on my microblading that I did exactly a week ago today. So this is what my brows look like, I have no makeup on, I just put on my self tanner, that you guys saw and yeah I love them almost all the scabbing is off now in about five weeks I have my touch-up appointment so I'm assuming by my touch-up appointments what they actually will look like and then they'll touch up any areas that I want touched up I think I just want the front more um, precise but other than that I just love the shape I love the way they look the scabbing process was nothing crazy I thought it was gonna be way worse and I was gonna have like 
scabs and blotches but i couldn't even tell that i was scabbing until i washed my face at night and these little tiny chunks would come off and i'm like oh that's the scab probably I'm currently sitting in my living room floor because i couldn't find a spot to prep this camera in my room as i was doing my makeup and i figured i'd come on and chat with you guys for a little bit before i head off today by the way this is a primer i always find myself using when it gets colder outside because it's really dewy and makes my makeup look really nice on camera it's the burberry burberry number one nude radiance primer two pumps that so i am actually getting ready right now i'm gonna film a quick low bun tutorial for my igtv because you guys have been wanting to see it and i might actually do a separate one for youtube i just hate how i can't use the same videos for youtube and instagram because of the format big major news so if you're following me on instagram you know that i will be having my clothing line finally in store limited time only but it will be in store in soho at a store called laborde i will um, have the name somewhere over here i'm really excited because this is a huge next step in my clothing line business and i've heard your guys' feedback and i know even though you have been so amazing and supportive online it is different to have something in store you guys can go try it on make sure you get the right sizing that fits you i did a lot of research and i found a store that i thought would be a great fit and the board is an awesome awesome store that i got really along with and we just vibed the store is all about women empowerment and every single brand in there is either owned by a woman or a woman is somehow heavily, heavily involved in the business itself. So I think that's freaking awesome. Today we're going to be going and dropping off all of the stock that they need. And then I'm meeting up with Lyle. And then we're going to hang out around Soho for a little bit and get lunch, get coffee. It's really sunny today, but it's cold. It definitely feels like a fall cold day, which I love that because it's sunny out, but it's cold. You wear your fall clothes it's a great vibe onto foundation because i need to get ready i'm probably gonna butcher it decor decorte has to be one of those two and i wash my hands before putting on my makeup obviously guys so it's just like really natural especially with that primer underneath you can't really tell i'm wearing any foundation just dab more of that foundation as a concealer to make it natural so i'm gonna go finish my makeup and i'll see you guys soon. i quickly wanted to show you my look so i'm wearing these versace kind of vintage looking sunnies and this coat is from seven miranda fry or the jewelry this crop sweater is from revolve i believe these pants are from petite studios and i love how high-waisted they go and then these combat boots are vince camuto i think <laughs> How cute is this store that we're gonna have my clothes at? Oh, and there's Naomi. She was helping me out. I am super excited for this. It's such a cute store, very New York vibe, really kind of aesthetic, and everything is spread out and it's pretty like minimalistic. So I'm so excited to see everything in here. I will be back once everything is live to show you what it looks like and where my stuff is located in the store if you want to come check it out. Look who just arrived! <laughs> little prince, little prince. We didn't sleep no, with him. The oh, we didn't sleep together last night. I know. He's so excited. Look at him. Yeah. We talk about Lyle becoming such a uh, dog dad. Look at his purse. His little dog purses. He's, he's that he's carrying around today. And those are pee pads, by the way. Mr. Prince and Lyle. Okay, simmer, buddy. Hi, vlog. We are at my favorite place ever. You guys know I love Bluestone Lane. We are waiting for food, and then we're off to Dumbo, but I figured we'd stop in and get a quick snack at our favorite brunch spot. Also, why does it already feel like it's winter in New York? I kid you not, we're freezing out here right now. We're so hungry. I didn't even get a chance to show you our food when I first got here, but Lyle got the big brekkie, which is one of his favorites. He got hot cocoa. I got the breakfast sandwich with smoked salmon on the side, and then a latte that I need to finish. And then here's a little munchkin being such a good boy. We just got to Dumbo. We're letting Prince go for a little walk right now. I am so tired. <laughs> what, babe? 
<laughs> I think you need a latte too. Um, we just finished shooting, waiting for the car right now. We're headed back to Lyle's apartment and then we are off to my apartment to watch movies and get food. Why are you in such a whiny mood this morning? I didn't leave you. I just went to the bathroom and put on a mask. He started crying. Prince and I just woke up and I am now putting on this mask. Hello. No, that's fine. We don't need you to focus. Um, it's the Elemis Superfood Veggie Mask. Looks like this. And it's a quick 10 minute mask. It's kind of hydrating. It feels really good on my skin. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do it for 10 minutes and then I'm going to make breakfast for us. But this is, I just wanted to show you also how I wake up. I have light all over me. I don't know if you could see it, but I do. Um, necklaces are all tangled. Hair is very dirty and fucked up. And um, we're going to mask and try to save ourselves. He's always by my side, aren't ya? <laughs> Why are you so sad today? I didn't leave you. <laughs> Just wiped the mask off with a washcloth and then I spritz on the Vixa. I never know how to say this brand, but I love it. It's amazing. It's hydrating mist and literally gives you the prettiest glow. This Sunday, I want my skin to just breathe, so I'm not applying anything else. Except I will, once this um, mist dries, I will use my Peter Thomas Roth Hydro Jelly Eye Patches underneath my eyes, and then that's it. Good morning, guys, or actually good afternoon. It is like 2 p.m. right now. Um, I'm here in Central Park, and we're about to shoot some looks. And then, actually we're shooting a lot of looks today. We're shooting three looks. This is the only day I'm shooting with Carrie this week. Until Saturday, we're gonna do some couple shots with Carrie and Dan and then Lyle and I. So that should be really fun. And then, yeah, I left Prince at home as you can see. I just cannot carry him when I'm shooting so much and when I'm gonna be out for a while and I also have a meeting after. So it just would've been too much to deal with today. These are our bags. We actually somehow ended up having matching bags to carry all our stuff in. Yeah, so I just finished shooting look number one and now we're off to find a spot to shoot Carrie that she likes and then we're gonna change. I don't think I got the chance to show you look number one yet. So I just got this hat from, I think it's Olive and Pick. I have several hats from there that I really, really love. I wore them a lot in Dubai and Turkey. And then Jules are, this is Miranda. Miranda and Adorn and then this is a page blazer bodysuit from Revolve. I think it's super down is the brand and then heels are also Revolve. I think it's I don't remember the brand. I'll have to check it and then jeans are misguided Bag is Gucci I love them. Love the little slit on the bottom. My loops that I hate because I can barely walk and I'm already falling. And then just the white sweater. Same black sunnies. I like everything below. Love New York this time of the year because how cute are all the store decorations. I just got home and I had to cuddle with Prince for about a good solid 20 minutes because he was genuinely freaking out there's someone in the hallway he was freaking out i posted a video on stories and you guys were like oh my gosh if you guys have any tips on things you did when you had a puppy that helped them get you know over being alone quicker please comment down below and let me know or shoot me a message or email me or contact me anyway and let me know what has worked for you because that would be so helpful because i feel so awful leaving him at home but I just obviously have a life and a job and I have things to do and I can't bring him with me all the time and I don't want him to be sad and like hurting being alone. So Lyle's coming over later and we're gonna watch movies and hang out while I edit and answer emails because I haven't done that all day since I've been out working. Good morning angels. So I am off to a quick meeting right now and then holy moly. Look at how freaking pale I am right now. On a brighter note, I did book our birthday trip with Lyle this morning and we're off to Jamaica for our birthdays. Lyle's birthday is three days before mine. What a quinky donk. 
So we are both going to Jamaica. I'm really excited. I'm wearing this really thick turtleneck sweater. That's supposed to be a sweater dress, so it's a little bit longer. Um, it's from ASOS. I added this Revolve snake print belt, I think it is. Yeah, snake print belt, my bag. These jeans that I wore yesterday that I showed you guys, I'm obsessed with them because they have the little slit on the bottom. And then my boots are suggested. I'm off to um, a press preview right now and then I'm gonna stop by the board, which is where my clothes are currently. I went live yesterday, I haven't seen the display yet, so I'm really, really excited to go check it out right now. I'm here at the press preview. So many cute brands to check out. This is the White Company. And they have the cutest home decor. You know I love Lawless. I have this eyeshadow kit that I'm obsessed with. Obviously my favorite, Glossier. I just got the, this little serum right here as a gift to try, which I'll keep you posted on. I am in the store right now, and here is the rack of all of the pieces from my collection. It is right on the left side of the door. If you walk in, there you go. It's just different to have the items kind of in person to feel and see how they fit on you. So I'm excited to hear your feedback once you stop in. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, keep it real. We're getting brunch right now at Balthazar in Soho and it's so good. Obviously I have the craziest carb dish because you know I love carbs. Got my bread and butter, here's Kim. <laughs> I am now off to my last event for the day. I'm headed to a holiday party with Kohl's and I'm wearing a all Kohl's look except the jeans are seven, which you guys know I've been wearing these nonstop, but everything else is from Kohl's and they're doing this huge um, holiday kind of launch with a bunch of amazing brands like Jason Wu and Elizabeth and James. We are here at the Kohl's pop-up with my girl Sam. <laughs> and we just finished posting our stories and now we're hanging out for a little bit. About to get a drink. I'll show you downstairs. So I didn't get a chance to end this vlog last night just because my camera died. But what ended up happening is we left the Kohl's event and I headed home to meet Prince and then I ordered some dinner and that was about it. I answered emails and then edited some content, got my stories and everything ready for today and then went to bed at about 1 a.m. So that was that for last night and yeah. I will be seeing you guys soon for next week's weekly vlog, but for now, that is it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.